Well, hello, everyone. It's good to be with you. I wanted to take uh, some time just to update you. As you know, uh, we continue to operate our services and our programming online. Uh, know that we miss you and we would love to be in person, but we're taking uh, what is definitely an interruption to our regular schedule as an opportunity, an opportunity uh, to connect with you this way online, but also um, to get the message out. As you know, Easter week, in particular Good Friday and Easter Sunday, uh, people are more open to receiving an invitation to church. And they're even more open to you giving them a link to watch church online. And so we want to remind you that for our Good Friday service, it's going to start 7 o'clock. We're going to stream it. We're going to have worship and prayer. You don't want to miss it. And a very special message about the cross. Uh, be praying about who you're going to invite to that. And then, of course, on Easter Sunday, we're going to have services at 9 a.m., 11 a.m., and 6 p.m. streaming for you. And that is also a great opportunity for you to invite somebody to. You can even have a watch party on social media. Uh, you could share the link if somebody doesn't have social media, but they have YouTube or the church app. All great ways for you to connect, but also for you uh, to share your faith. You never know. Listen, again, people may have turned you down for years, uh, but they might watch and they might open that link up. And even if they just watch for just a little bit, um, we're trusting that God will use that to encourage people. Also for your children, uh, we have Children's Church Online. We have uh, some great lessons for them to look over and watch. Some of them are interactive. We have stuff for every age group. And so um, take advantage of that. Um, you could also submit prayer requests during the service. Uh, we have the opportunity to give, to fill out a connection card. And so again, although we can't be in person, we still have, through thankfully technology, ways to connect, and you don't want to miss that. Now, um, I would be remiss if I didn't tell you once again that we miss you and we want to be with you. And so uh, to convey that, I wanted to share with you a verse that's always been an encouragement to me. Uh, we're coming up about, I think, about 40 days that we've all been quarantined and away from each other. Um, and so by now you might want to pull your hair out and you're wondering when this is going to happen and when that's going to happen. But a verse that uh, God has uh, used in my life that has been an encouragement to me is Psalm 27, verse 14. And listen to what it says. Wait for the Lord. Be strong. And let your heart be courageous. Wait for the Lord. Yes, wait for the Lord. You know, right now, I think our best recourse is to do just that, is to wait on God. And maybe right now you need to be reminded of that because uh, you're wondering, when, when's, my, when's my next paycheck going to come? Or uh, when is the news going to get better? When is this going to lift? When is that going to happen? The best posture for your soul is to wait on God. And this much we know uh, that God works all things together for the good of those who love him. And so God is going to use this in some way, and the best mental, emotional, and spiritual focus that we can have is one of patience and humble expectation, waiting on God, waiting on the Lord. And I want to encourage you uh, with that right now, um, especially during this special week, um, that you would, even in your own heart, um, just recommit to God that way and say, God, I'm waiting on you. I'm waiting on you for breakthrough. And I'm going to take this time that has uh, maybe disrupted my schedule. I'm going to use uh, this and these obstacles as an opportunity to grow closer to you and to value what matters most. And so once again, um, it's a joy to spend some time and talk with you and update you on things. But rest assured, God is still on the throne and we could trust him and we can wait on him. May God bless you. I look forward to seeing you on Good Friday and on Resurrection Sunday.